The custom board says that anyone caught bringing into Nigerian goods not approved by government will be seized and the importers arrested immediately. The command recorded a seizure of 34 containers worth over 443 million naira in six months. So that the command will continue to be a no-go area for non-compliant traders. By the time they come together and behave like real patriotic Nigeria, it's cheaper to be compliant. And when you look at the incentive given to manufacturing sector, honestly, it's not profitable to even indulge in smuggling. And they should be aware that uh, today the modern Nigerian customs service we have in place and with the kind of support given to us, we are equally ahead of them. It is closed at 2 by 20 footer containers comprising 2,200 jelly cans of 25 liters of vegetable oil. The UDP value of 26 million naira was impounded by men of the Nigerian Customs Service. The command also impounded cartons of foreign soap, a container with matchet worth over 16 million naira. The matchet were seized because they were declared as agricultural tools. And all matches coming into country today requires end user certificate from the Office of the National Security Advisor. So based on that wrong declaration and no end user certificate issued by the National Security Advisor, it was seized. Other seizures include bales of textile materials and bags of imported rice. The custom boss further stated that some of the suspects who were arrested along with the goods will face the law. Egesema Itinye, reporting from Port Harcourt.